Hey everybody, Mr. Frags here for NextGenWalkthroughs.com, and today we're going to do the third of the fourth simulator mission called Breakout. For this, you just have to go around and break out, not really break out, but rescue prisoners like this. All you gotta do is find them, run into their circle, and then escort them to the one of four exits, exits located around the room. Now, that one's easy. There's no guards waiting for you, but this whole mission is based around a sneaking concept and it's so easy to screw up and it takes a long time to do it now this took me clo probably well around two hours to get the final thing recorded to get the gold medal and you need 80,000 points to get the gold medal and as you saw you saw a little red light so I couldn't tell if you really saw bad guys yet but there's no one you gotta fight in this. You can see the red lights. You gotta stay out of the red lights. If you go on the red lights, you automatically fail the mission. And you gotta start over. Now, they all have either a path where they'll just stand in one spot and rotate around. Because you can tell it's kind of a grid pattern. Or they will walk up and down alleyways and around blocks and stuff. Because they'll actually uh, take corners and go around blocks. So you just gotta look at their pattern and have a really good view. Which is also why I'm using Storm who can fly. Um, if you're flying you have a better peripheral vision of the whole area compared to if you're just walking around. And I'm also mashing my right thumbstick so that I can find them easier because it makes the room there in glow and the arrow will guide you to where to go and there I remember I was recording it I got so scared because I thought I got saw seen sawed seen now once you get about 25 to 30 thousand points you'll actually start getting mines put down and if you run your prisoner over the mines it will kill him and end the mission for you so what I like to do is just run over the mines and run by them. Don't stand on them. But if they blow up when your prisoners aren't around and you're not getting seen, then you're all set. And of course, as you continue through the metals, it gets much harder. And I would always lose around 60 to 70,000 points. So you basically just got to do the same thing over and over again. Um until you get 80,000 points. Check back at nextgenwalkthroughs.com for more video guides on Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2, including an HD guide coming from Explicit D soon.